ATR-2100 versus the RE-50B. Hello, I'm Carlos Quintero from Media on Q, and in this video, I'm going to do a quick microphone comparison of two handheld dynamic mics. I'm capturing the audio for both of these microphones directly onto my Zoom H6. Both of these microphones are dynamic, which means they should do a good job at rejecting or minimizing background noise. Because these are dynamic microphones, you won't need phantom power, making them ideal for ENG style shoots or unscripted interviews. These two microphones have some similarities, but price is definitely not one of them. The ATR2100 now sells between $50 and $60 because podcasters have really embraced this microphone for its sound quality. The RE50B on the other hand sells for $180. It's the broadcast industry standard for electronic news gathering. Many television and radio station groups use this microphone when they need to capture on location sound bites for their programming. The ATR2100 has other advantages besides its aggressive pricing. You can hook this microphone up directly to your computer via a USB cable, which means you don't have to spend the extra cash on an audio interface device. This microphone also allows you to monitor without latency by plugging in your headset directly to the microphone. The pickup pattern of the RE50B is omnidirectional and the capsule is shock mounted and that's supposed to help deal with handling noise. The ATR2100 has a cardioid pickup pattern. While this microphone comes with a desk tripod and XLR cable, I would say that it's worth upgrading those two as quickly as possible. The RE50B was designed specifically for interviews. Audio-Technica states that the ATR2100 is ideal for podcasting or in-home studio recording, as well as field recording, stage work, or voiceover work. Now, we all know sound is subjective, but it can definitely make, or more importantly, break your project. So judge for yourself and let me know if you have a preference. I hope you found the comparison useful. And who knows, maybe even save you some money in the future. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Until next time, I'm Carlos Quintero from Media on Q, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thank you for watching.